today's task is to remove a rear wheel speed sensor. You can see I've got the car up on a jack there. I've taken off the rear wheel and I thought this might be quite a complicated job but apparently it's really quite easy. There is the speed sensor. Just got to disconnect the wires and undo a single bolt to remove it. First thing is to remove this electrical cable. There's a little pushing tab at the back here. And that comes off nice and easy. Excellent. I really don't think this is going to be too difficult at all. It's a star drive, so just got to make sure I get the right size star drive for it. Let's check I've got the right one before I tell you what it is. Right, it is a T25. Now, is this going to be difficult to undo? Let's find out. It doesn't seem that difficult so far. That seems to be on screen all right. off my hand. Ah, now here's a problem. Because it's in a recess, I can't reach in there to pull it out. I would hope I might need a set of uh, grips. Right, small pair of pliers. I thought I might have a set of narrow nose pliers, but I can't find them straight away. There's the bolt out. Let's see if we can get the sensor out. Oh dear heavens! Um, <laughs> good grief. Oh, it's a bit tough coming out. Looks a bit dirty, but I wouldn't say it was particularly bad. The hole in itself looks quite dirty. Let's see if we can get a light and show you that. See, it's quite dirty in there. box for the new sensor. This is not OEM equipment. Intermotor, whoever the heck they are. Doesn't bear the Volvo part number. Appears to be same shape. Seems to have fastening hole in the same position. I wonder if that hole slightly larger. Not that it'll matter. Clips in the right position. Um, there's a little bit of a rise on that. There. I think I'm going to take a razor blade and just cut that back. So there's not really a rise on that one at all. Yeah, I think that may cause a sticking point if I don't shave that back. Okay, looks identical to me. A few very, very slight differences, but nothing to shout about. Right, I'm going to shave that back with a sharp knife and uh, come back and we'll see if we can get it in. Okay, I've shaved that back a bit, so it's a bit more flush. I don't think it would catch off anything, but it's maybe better to... Uh, Maybe better to put it in and. Um, I'm sorry, I'm muttering away to myself. It's better to have it shaved off and not need it than the other way around. 
Uh, that is a bit tight in there. I might clear that hole out a bit as well. I do have a small Dremel type tool, but unfortunately the battery seems to be flat on it. I've got this nice little circular sanding disc, but I haven't got a power tool to use with it. thing I want to do is put a little touch of grease around the edge just to help it slip in. This is the old one. I want to do it on the new one. Right, the little touch of grease around that edge and a little tiny spot of grease on the end of the screw. I thought I'd put the screw into place. It might make it easier than trying to reach the screw in Remarkably easy to start threading. Well, that feels like it's down and grounded. That's it hooked back on, and that is that. That is so remarkably easy. Okay, well that's that job done. All we've got to put, do now is put the wheel back in, lower the jack down and take it out for a spin and make sure that it works okay. Okay, that's the rear wheel back on. The stand off. In case I did forget to mention it, the Torx was a T25 and that is really all the tools I needed. The Torx, the ratchet, short extension, the car zone jack, the car zone tool for undoing the nuts, a pair of rubber gloves and a torch. Oh, a little bit of grease maybe and of course the replacement sensor. Showing nothing is really hard to do but we don't seem to have anything. We go up to 20 miles an hour, we brake hard. There's no sounds from the pump. We're getting this kind of, it's hard to describe, an intermittent, like the brakes were trying to apply an intermittent sound, but stop doing that, get out onto the east road, we're not getting any traction control warnings now, but like I say, we'll give this a, a wee whirl. that is from the brakes. Again. Excellent. 